Internal cables, they look absolutely fantastic. The reason being, because they hide your cables. And quite frankly, there's not many cables out there which are a real joy or delight to look at. There is a downside though. On some components and frames, they can be a real nightmare to thread through. So today, I'm gonna to go through a few hacks and tips so you can fit yours just a little bit easier. Firstly then, let's clear up a few things. And that is that quite a lot of frames and components out there actually have internal guides for you to be able to route through your hoses or your cables. However, not all frames and components are created equally. Hence the reason for this video. So with a few different bits and pieces that you're likely to have laying around inside your own workshop, this will be a piece of cake for you to be able to complete. Right, my first tip or bit of advice for you has to be, if you're using a standard Bowden style cable, always use a fresh new one. The reason being, it's likely that when you're threading through this cable and the inside of a frame or handlebar, that sort of thing, it's gonna end up bashing against the inside wall of those components, which means if it's not new, it's gonna fray. A new cable, they tend to be soldered very finely on the end, preventing it from fraying. If you're gonna use an old cable, well, don't say I didn't warn you, but a bit of advice what you could do is freshly trim it really, really short, and then just add a dab of super glue to try and seal it up before you start the threading process. For the purpose of this video, I'm actually gonna use a pair of handlebars because, well, it's the same as a frame, let's face it. We're putting a cable in and we're trying to fish it out at the other end. But a pair of handlebars normally is slightly more difficult because you've got bigger bends and tighter curves, if that makes sense. It's not as easy to actually fish out. So. First up, let's imagine that we want to fit a new outer cable through the holes. So we've got a insert here and it exits underneath. Now, sadly, underneath these handlebars, as good as they are, there is no internal routing. So it means if I wanna fit a new outer cable, if I go ahead and put it in there, it's not gonna be that easy to move around inside. The reason being, those outer cables aren't that flexy. So I've got myself here a normal brake cable, so the internal one, and then, I'm just gonna find its way inside. Gradually poke it around until it comes out or starts to try and come out at the other end. Now, these things aren't always that easy to actually spot. That's where this comes in. So, providing of course you can spot it, if not, a torch is always really good or certainly aim it towards the light or sun. Those things are gonna make this job just that little bit easier too. But this in my hand here, is an old bit of outer brake cable that I've stripped some of the plastic sheathing away and then I've simply grabbed onto one end and pulled it really hard so I've got this sort of corkscrew like grabber or gripper and when I see that internal cable I can try and hook it out and pull it out of the hole. Now it will take a little while but it's a lot easier than just trying to poke around and hope for the best because that's not gonna get you anywhere very fast. Once it pops out, you can then use this cable as a guide for the outer cable to go through. Believe me, it's gonna make that job a lot easier. There we are, it's out. Now, if you went away just poking around in there, just trying to get it to come out of the other hole, you're gonna take forever and ever. Even if you're using thin little pliers in there, it's not that easy to grab the end. But now we've got this in place, well, the outer cable is gonna be able to slide on there nice and easily and then just pop out the other end. Right, what then if that following step you just dismiss and you couldn't be bothered? Well, there is another option. You could try putting through the outer cable to start with and well, hoping for the best. It's normally ever so stiff getting it around and inside the first bend. But what have I got here, you may ask? Well, this is just a bit of really thin garden wire, the sort of thing that I hold my sunflowers upright with. And well, I've cut it down a little bit and hopefully I can match it into the end of that outer cable, try and get it to come out. Again, it does take quite a bit of time sometimes. And there is no sort of one job or one solution for all type thing. But once you hook onto it, you're gonna be laughing. Now, the other, the other uh, bit of kit I was just showing you then, that unraveled cable, that won't do the job because it doesn't tend to be the opening isn't quite big enough to actually wrap around the outer cable, but I've got it. Mm -hmm. 
So what then if you've got an internal cable that needs replacing, but you're going to keep the outer cables? Well, firstly, I would never advise to do that. I would always say replace the whole system. You are going to get better gear shifting or braking. But with all of that aside, we've got a problem. Let's try and solve it. Let's think that this is a frame or even a handlebar, for instance, but it's more likely to be a frame, but just a scaled down version. It's easier to explain it. So first up, we've got a bit of outer cable, which comes from your shift lever, stops in the frame there. Then you've got an inner cable which runs all the way through and it doesn't have any type of housing or anything and it comes out at the other end. And then you've got a little bit of outer cable then into a rear derailleur, for example. Well, what we're gonna do then, because if we take out this inner cable, you're not gonna be able to replace it that easily, let's face it, because you've gotta try and find those tiny little holes, entry and exit holes at either end of the frame. So what we're gonna do is undo the clamp cable of the component and just, well, lose the component or keep it in place on the bike. Then the last bit of cable out the back there, you're just gonna remove. And then you've got the inner cable reveal. This is where this comes in handy. It's a little bit of cable sheathing. So pop down to your local bike shop, they should have some. It's available for both gear and brake inners. Uh, so obviously a, a gear inner is a little bit thinner in diameter, about, well, normally a couple of millimetres or rather a couple of fractions of a millimetre and that's not going to fit over brakes so make sure you get the right stuff. If in doubt just get yourself the brake because that will do both. Slide it over that inner cable. You want it to be nice and long and it will it will find its way over it all right like you can see and just keep pushing it until it pops out at the other end. Normally, the actual setup of this, the cable when it's under tension, it's gonna be able to slide on there nice and easily. Obviously, in my little setup here, it's not under any tension at all inside of a frame or lever. It's just a cable which is loosely placed inside. But once that is on, this inner sheath, like you can see here, it's just poked out onto the cable. So here's my cable from, that, from there. You can see it's popping out of the actual handlebar there or the, the frame entry and exit point. At which point, what you want to make sure is that the, the far end, so the end where the derailleur or the brake caliper is, that doesn't go inside of the frame whatsoever. You want to make sure it stays outside. So if in doubt, maybe tape it onto the component or the frame, and that'll be all right. And then when it's out of both ends of the frame, it's normally a frame you would do this on, sometimes a handlebar, you are good to go. Then you can just whip out that inner cable, no problem. You've got a guide from one end right the way through to the other, meaning you can take that cable out of your shifter and then you can simply fit a new one in and you can reuse the manky old outer cables. So but to be honest, just put some new ones in there because there's no point in reusing dodgy old outers. And then when it goes through, it simply threads back inside of that plastic sheath pops out the other end. Easily done. Now, if you are really struggling with an internal cable as it goes down through the down tube and around the bottom bracket junction, the best bit of advice I can actually give you there is to remove your chain set, remove those cranks, and maybe even the bottom bracket in some cases, just so you can actually see what's going on a little bit easier, as well as possibly freeing up any obstructions in there. Now, if you've got yourself a hydraulic brake setup, for instance, that goes all the way through the frame and you're finding that a bit of a struggle, well, the folks at Park Tool, they even have a bit of kit which threads on the internals of a hydraulic hose. It does also thread into the internal of a brake and gear outer too, although they don't strictly recommend that, but it is possible. And then with this really strong magnet, you can control this all the way through a carbon or aluminium frame, taking it from one end through to the other. It's a really ingenious bit of kit. And uh, one of our colleagues here, Peter, he swears by it. But let me know though, what bits and what tips do you use to actually get your internal cables routed nice and easy? Let me know down there in the comment section below. Mr. Tom Last, well, he uses a bit of cotton and a vacuum cleaner. So get involved down there. And also remember to check out the GCN shop at shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com where we've got a whole heap of goodies for you to check out. And now for two more great videos, how about clicking just down here and just down here.